guys, today I'm sharing with you the top five Lily Pulitzer pieces that every Lily lover needs in their wardrobe. Now, I am obsessed with Lily Pulitzer. I actually call it my Lily lizard brain because something happens to me whenever I go on that website or step into a Lily Pulitzer store, something clicks and I need everything. It's very dangerous. But today I wanted to share with you the top five staple Lily Pulitzer items that I think every Lily girl should have in her wardrobe. So let's get into it. Okay, first up, we have the classic Lily Pulitzer shift dress. How could we not include this one? Because it all started with the Lily Pulitzer shift dress in this bright, fun pattern. If you don't know how Lily Pulitzer started, quick rundown. So it was actually started by Lily Pulitzer back in the 1960s in Palm Beach, Florida. She had a juice stand and she kept spilling juice on her dress and it was staining her dresses. So she decided to get a couple of shift dresses whipped up in some bright and fun patterns so that when the juice got spilled on her dresses, it wouldn't show. And then the classic Lily Pulitzer shift was born. So I do feel like that classic Lily Pulitzer shift silhouette with the bright, fun pattern is just a staple piece for any Lily lover. And you know the thing is, they are just so easy to throw on and look put together. I would just throw on the shift dress, put some Jack Rogers sandals on, bam, outfit done. And this dress in particular is great. This is the Mila shift dress in the print Tiki Pink Royal line. And this one is pretty good because if you'll notice, it has all this fun beading up here, which is like a built-in necklace. So I don't even have to worry about that. Like I already have a necklace on. And I just find that the shift silhouette is just so effortless, easy going, but also feminine. And I also do feel like this shift dress works on lots of different body types. You know, I was really afraid of the shift dresses for a long time because I felt like it was going to hug the places I didn't want it to hug, you know, like I don't want it tight around my tummy or my hips and it's not like that at all because the actual cut of the Lily Pulitzer shift dresses, it isn't just a straight up and down, it's just a really flattering cut. Now, although I do think that the Lily shift dress with the bright fun pattern is like the classic one that you need to get, if you're a little bit too afraid of like bright things going on, Lily also do the most beautiful shift dresses that are a bit more toned down, I suppose. So they do make these solid color shift dresses but they still definitely have that beautiful resort wear Lily Floridian vibe to them. This one here is the Gabby shift dress in sea salt blue. And this one is just, it's so sophisticated. I feel like a very sophisticated lady when I put it on. I did actually end up taking in the waist of this Gabby shift dress. It was very easy to do, but if you're not a sewer, you could totally take a shift dress to a local tailor and they will take it in at the waist for you for like 10 or 15 bucks at the most. So that is also a really good option. Also, I decided to just leave my hair as it air dried today instead of curling it like I normally do. Kind of like it. It's like beachy resort wear Lily vibes. The next item is a popover, which is basically a Lily sweatshirt. And Lily pretty much sell these year round in whatever print that they have out at that moment. This popover is in the print Sea to Shining Sea. So it's sort of Memorial Day slash 4th of July inspired and it's just adorable with all the fireworks all over it. I love it. So I do find these popovers to be a really great year-round staple. And that's mainly because the weight of the fabric is just right. So for the warmer months, it is light enough to take with you for the day. And so when there's a chill in the air at night, you can just pop it on. And then for the colder months, it's always really great too, because you can, you know, put a top on underneath this, have the popover and even put more layers over top, like a cute jacket. And I find the popover so easy to style, you know, summer, some white shorts, winter jeans. And Lily also does this thing sometimes, I'm not sure if they're doing it at the moment, but you can actually personalize the little charm that goes on the zipper pull and you can get a different charm to pop on the zipper which is really cute. I love a bit of personalization. I can't go past it. The next item is a Lily blouse and I feel like people froth over the Elsa blouse in particular. The Elsa tops are these gorgeous silk blouses that come in the patterns and also come in solid colors too and they are really beautiful items that I kind of think of universally flattering on multiple body shapes. The neckline of the Elsa blouse 
brows is super flattering and also the bust which is I feel like the bust is where with the different body shapes things can go awry but I feel like the Elsa blouse is kind of universally flattering now as you can see I do have an Elsa blouse but I actually just don't find myself reaching for it I prefer this blouse that I'm wearing right now. This is the Tensley top in the print Catty Shack. And this is the blouse that I always gravitate towards because it's just so easy to style. I just pop on some white jeans with it. I love the bottom with the ruffle, sort of like a peplum effect because the main problem that I do have with the Elsa blouse is I find that it's quite an awkward length. It's quite awkward to wear not tucked in, but then when I try and tuck it in, I don't know if it's just me not being able to tuck a shirt in correctly, but I can never really get it to sit right. So this blouse also has a bit of a similar neckline to the Elsa blouse, but it does have these really adorable tassels with the beads on it too, which I just love. I also do find this top a bit more wearable in terms of the material. I am able to wash this at home where the Elsa blouse is silk so you really do have to get it dry cleaned which just makes it a bit more difficult to wear more often. So I feel like a Lily Pulitzer blouse is a great item for your wardrobe. I don't know if the Elsa blouse in particular is 100% for me. By the way, I'm not knocking the Elsa blouse. I think it is so beautiful. It's just personally, I don't really find myself gravitating towards it. I definitely gravitate towards this one. The next piece that a Lily lover needs in their wardrobe is a piece of Luxletic. So Luxletic is basically Lily's activewear section. So they do make items for particular sports like tennis, golf, but then they also make general workout gear. And I do have to admit, I don't think I've ever worn Luxletic to actually work out in. If I'm working out, I'll probably put on my outdoor voices, but I wear the Luxletic to sort of like bop around town, do errands, that sort of thing, because it's just so comfy and I get to wear my lily and look cute but I also have those comfy vibes. Do I have a tennis skirt on order that is currently being sent to me as we speak? Yes. Do I ever intend to actually wear that tennis skirt for any sort of tennis game or any other athletic activity? No. Will I be wearing that tennis skirt to sip on a frappuccino as I go around Target? Yes. But yes, Luxletic is just perfect for those easy going days. Especially now with this whole COVID thing, like I am just living in comfies like this. So this is the fin top and this is in the print Floridita. I love the Floridita print. When I saw this print out, I was like, ah! I needed it all. I just think it is so cute with the flamingos. Flamingos are kind of a little thing of mine. I just love them. And then of course you have the lily down at the side, which is very cute. The next lily item that you need is an everyday dress or an everyday romper. Now, as much as I love those classic lily shift dresses, they are very spiffy. They look a bit more dressed up and I have put them on before and people are like, where are you going? And I'm like, to the grocery store, okay? So they are a bit more dressed up. You can't really wear them to go to things like the grocery store. So a beautiful everyday romper or a dress is perfect for your lily wardrobe. And the great thing about these everyday items is they're normally made with a bit of stretch in them. They are comfortable, comfy, comfy. And that is something that I rate really high. And you know what? Although this is made of a stretchy material, it still looks quite dressed up. You know, it's not shift level dressed up, but it's not luxe, athletic level, like casual. It's somewhere in between, which is perfect for everyday wear. So this is actually a stretchy romper. I know it looks like a dress, but it's a romper. I feel like whenever you have a romper on, you have to like do like weird leg movements to show people like, guys, I'm wearing a romper. This is the Carly romper in the print Amethyst Tint Cray C. I always just pop this on with my Jack Rogers or even some white sneakers. That is super cute. And the funny thing is I was actually never going to try this on. I was in the New York store last summer and a girl in the room beside me was trying this on but she couldn't figure out how the tie worked it is a little complicated it has to go like in and out and whatever so I actually went over and tied it for her this poor girl I have my like hands like inside her thing and then I stepped back and I was like girl 
That's cute. I'm gonna try that on. And then I ended up buying it. And now, dare I say, I think this is my favorite Lily item that I own. Oral of the story is don't overlook these items that are, you know, like shift level dressed up, but they are really, really beautiful too. So there are the top five staple Lily items that every Lily Pulitzer lover should have in her wardrobe. I feel like this might be a bit controversial and I agree with you. Lily make so many cute items, but for this video, I just wanted to pair it back and pick pieces that I feel would make great staple pieces to then build outfits from and then bring in more Lily into your wardrobe. Like there are so many Lily pieces that I don't even own. Like I need a Lily Pulitzer swimsuit. How do I not have one? I've been dreaming about one for years and I just don't have one yet. So I am definitely going to keep my eye out in the after party sale for a swimsuit, which I hope is going ahead. They did a massive summer sale, which they normally never do. It's just the after party sale. So I hope that they're still doing an after party sale. I really do hope so because not gonna lie, I wasn't impressed by that summer sale. I don't know, did you guys find anything cute? I found nothing in that summer sale that I liked. So I really do hope that the after party sale is going ahead. We do love preppy fashion right here on my channel and of course Lily Pulitzer in particular. So if you like videos like this, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh no, I gave my heart